guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to keep the tool down and machine both ways as you saw in the beginning of the video all right so let's get to it all right so um before i create a new setup uh, i'm going to open up woodwap this program which is going to have uh, two macros one macro for roughing this out and the other macro is, is going to be for cleaning the edge all right so let's go to Woodwap, and here's the program, all right? All right, so I got the first macro is going gonna, is gonna to remove most of the material. Um, I was using a 9 millimeter um, down cut end mill, and then I used a 6 millimeter compression bit for cleanup and to give me a smaller radius, okay? So let's go back to Fusion 360, and I'm gonna create a new setup, okay? And this is where the WCS is gonna be. Let's say yours, somewhere right here. Oops, right there, somewhere over here. Um, you can just um, see where it says uh, Z axis. Select the top face, Y axis is going to be this edge, and where it says stock point, box point, you select this point here, okay? And a model, I'm going to select the 3D model, all right? Under stock, I'm not adding any material. And the last step is post process. I'm going to name the program. Open underscore pocket, all right. And under program comment, I'm gonna type nine millimeter down down cut. Oops, down dash cut and six millimeter and mills okay and i'm gonna click ok and i just created a setup next i'm gonna use a 2d pocket to remove most of the material all right 2d pocket and i'm gonna select a nine millimeter end mill that i use in um in the video in the beginning of the video i'm sorry okay so uh select wiki cnc wood and i'm gonna select this guy right here the 46204 is the amana and mill all right select this guy all right i have um the spindle speed and the cutting fee rate already set up for me okay Next tab, I'm going to select uh, the geometry, which is going to be this, this bottom face here. And under height, I'm not making any changes here. And under passes, um, it's already checked for me, so um, I'm going to uncheck it. And the tolerance, I have 0 0.2 millimeters. That's the best one that works for the machine that I have, that I programmed. I work which is a mold machine um the maximum step over is six millimeters right and i'm gonna hit um step down so i'm gonna click on multiple depths and mine is gonna be four millimeters that's 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 the one i had in, in the beginning of the video finishing step down it's gonna be the same four millimeters and I have a uh, use even step downs check under smoothing. It's gonna be the same as tolerance, zero point two millimeters. You can right click on it and save as user default. Okay, you can do that. You can do that here as well, where it says tolerance. Right click and save as user default. Okay. All right, next tab uh, is a linking tab. 
and uh, the rim type is a zigzag ramping angle two degrees and I'm keeping the tool down all right okay so it's gonna give me one macro but I'm gonna uncheck this to see how many macros I'm gonna get right so I'm gonna click OK see the yellow lines see this um that means the the machine's gonna retract um for every for every step down okay so let's post this and open it up in Google and see how it looks like. So I'm gonna right click, post process. Okay, I'm gonna go to that folder. I'm gonna open it up in Google. Okay, see how many macros I get? See that? So many macros, see? Way too many macros. Right, you want you want just want to you want to make sure it's one macro, right? See that? It's one macro uh, for step down. See it? So many macros. All right, so let's go back to um, let's go back to Fusion 360, and let's fix this. All right, so um, I'm gonna right click, edit, and to the pocket. I'm gonna go back to linking tab, and where it says keep tool down, I'm gonna check that, and. The maximum stay down I have a 3000 millimeters okay and let's click ok see that you don't see the yellow lines so it's not going to retract it's keeping the tool down so right click edit and let me go back to passes and i gotta check on where it says both ways see that okay so the machine is going to go in Okay, do a do a climb milling and then conventional milling. It's gonna go back and forth like this, as you saw in the beginning of the video, all right? So let's check. Maximum step over six millimeters. That's what I had when I did that part. All right, so click OK. And I'm gonna right click, simulate. See what it's doing? Going back and forth, back and forth. See, and the tool is down, it's not retracting, all right? Speed it up a little bit. See it? Okay. All right, but when I machined the part, I left um, two millimeters of material on this edge, on this edge here and this edge there. So I'm gonna go back to it. Edit and under passes, I'm gonna go down to where it says stock to leave. I'm gonna check on that. And under radio stock, I'm gonna enter two millimeters. And where it says actual stock to leave, it's gonna be zero. Okay. And you can right click on it and make that as a default. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna simulate this one more time. This is leaving uh, two millimeters of material. See it? And then I'm gonna use a six millimeter end mill to clean that up, all right? All right, so um, I'm gonna use a 2D contour, all right? Under 2D, I'm gonna select the tool, a six millimeter, uh, compression bit, which is this guy right here, the amount of 46, 170. All right, select that. And then um, I'm not changing the, the speed or the feed rate. Okay, that's the way I have it set up. Uh, and under geometry, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna hold down Alt on Windows, and I think it's option on Mac. Go 
pull down alt select this edge here this edge here, there okay all right and um under heights no changes here and under passes um stock to leave okay you can uncheck that i'm gonna ch change the sideways compensation to left that's what i had when i ran when i machined the part tolerance uh, 0 0.2 millimeters save as user uh, save as user default okay and do the same thing here I'll right click on it and save as user default okay on the linking tab uh, i have a leading of 16 millimeters okay and i'm gonna click ok There it is. All right. All right. So I'm gonna um, select the setup. Right click. Simulate. Slow it down. Oops. Slow it down a bit. And I'm, I want to. And then I change to the six millimeter end mill. All right. Okay, so let's post this. Let's post this program. Right click, post process. Let's open it up in WooWop, and there you have it. Just two macros. See it? All right. Uh, let's go back to Fusion 360. You can also use a uh, rest machining. So I'll show you how that works. All right. So let's go back to. Um, Go back to this guy right here, 2D packet, right click. I'm um, go back to passes and I'm gonna uncheck stock to leave. And I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna simulate it. Right click, simulate. Let's say I just want to come in with the six millimeter end mill and just create the, ra the radius. Just clean up the radius here. You know, get a smaller radius. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go to the 2D contour, right click, edit. And under geometry, I'm gonna check on rest machining. And that's, that's gonna be the tool diameter of the previous um, operation, right? Um, which was nine millimeters. And coordinate radius was 4.5. All right, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna simulate. Oops. Okay. Coordinate radius is zero. I'm sorry. Uh, I think this is this is gonna work. I haven't I'm used to this in a while. Okay. Let's click OK, and there it is. Okay, so where it says cor uh, coordinate radius, just leave it at zero. All right, um, that's why I wasn't getting that that uh, race machine toolpath. Okay, sorry about that. I haven't used this in a while. All right, so I'm gonna right click, simulate, and slow it down. In the place it, see the emails drop it down, and it's gonna go in. Create the smaller radius. Okay. See one more time. All right. There it is. All right. So um, let's post this program. See how it looks like in Woodwap. I'm gonna delete this NC programs. I'm gonna right click, post process, and I'm gonna post it. Gonna save it. Yeah, I want to replace it. Yes. Okay. There's a 2D pocket, and then there's the wrist machine toolpath. See it? All right. And that's how you do it, guys. All right. So um, that's it for this video.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.